this tutorial we're going to look at creating a crawling title which is going to crawl across the screen. It's very simple to do and it's very similar in operation to how we did the rolling title. So here's the rolling title that we did before, I'm just hover scrubbing to show what it is. And now I'm going to create a crawling title just to go across here on my screen. So again I need to create a title, I could do new title or control T, or command T on a Mac, but I think if you're going to create a rolling or a crawling title it's better to use the title window and actually go directly to default crawl and click there and it says what are you going to call this title I'm going to call it a crawling title and it says do you want it to be the same size as your sequence which obviously you do so you click OK and the title creation window comes up now you can turn on or off the background here with this button and I think seeing I'm going to be doing a crawling title I probably don't want to see the background but I do want to start to create the area in which I'm going to do this particular title which means I need to create area text again you can't really do this with point text so if I'm going to do it with an area text I'm going to again just use my text tool I don't need to use this area type tool I can if I want but I don't need to with my standard text tool I'm going to start off screen so over here I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to pull it all the way across until it's off the screen the other side and I'm going to let go. Now instantly the screen resizes but if I start to pull the scroll bar you'll see that it's simply showing me the length of my area because if you remember the screen is effectively here to just about here but obviously this is going further and we can see it's scrolling past these title and action safe boxes just here. So what I can do is I can start typing something so I can say this is and again I don't like that text so I'm going to select it and I'm going to format it, I'm going to choose one of the ones down here so choose something big like that, and maybe even make it a little bit bigger so this is, and make the font a little bit bigger and then I can click and carry on this is crawling text that will go along the bottom well I can't see it now but I do have the little plus icon again telling me that there is more text than there is on display so again I hold the control key on a PC, the command key on a Mac get the handle at the end and start to pull it sideways until I've pretty much shown all the text and I can scroll along with this scroll bar at the bottom along the bottom okay I can go of my screen giving inform now I might have misspelt that so again I'm going to go there and I'm going to hold the control key on a PC the command key on a Mac pull it all the way through scroll across giving information, no I was ok, information about my shot ok and again I can't see it all, I must be able to see it all for this to work so I'm just going to pull it across information about my, and again holding the control key on a PC the command key on a Mac, there you go I've got to the end of it now this, using this scroll bar, is what's going to go across my screen this is crawling text that will go along the bottom of my screen giving information about my shot. Now if I want to I can actually physically move this so I can grab on it and, and pull it down a bit so it's actually literally going to go along that title safe area just there. That's fine. Again we can see what it's going to look like. This is the information that's going to go along the bottom of my screen. So how do I set up the crawl? Again I need to go to this box here. Roll Crawl Options and click on it. And generally speaking for a crawl you want it to start off screen and end off screen and you don't want it to come in slowly and go out slowly you want it to come in at full speed and go out at full speed because that's the way it tends to work say on a news program so at the moment I'm saying come on screen at full speed and go off screen the other side at full speed and that's generally speaking the way you would set up a crawl you could have it starting slowly and speeding up and slowing down at the end but generally speaking that's not the way a crawl tends to work these options usually seem to work a lot better for a roll rather than a crawl now notice also that you can crawl left and you can crawl right so if your script would crawl right rather than crawl left simply change it around here and you can have it crawl in whatever direction you need for your production obviously we want to crawl left so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to shut down the titler and here is my title and you can see that this just by hover scrubbing 
is the way it's going to look. So it's going to start off screen, and it's going to come all the way across and end off screen. And I can see that it's not used in my production yet. All the other titles, well this title, this title, and my end credits are used in the production. This lower third isn't used in my production, and neither is this crawl as yet, because these icons tell us if something is used and how many times. So if I drag it up to my timeline here, I'm snapping it to my current time indicator, or I can snap it to the beginning of the cut there. And if I want it to go a little bit slower, I can also pull it out to the end of the cut. And then if I push play, you'll see that... Oh, I forgot the T on the this. Well, if I've made a mistake, I can double click it, and I can go all the way back to the beginning of it. And I can see that the the, the T on this, I've pulled the whole thing over slightly. So I need to select my tool, pull it across so that the T is actually on this transparent grid area here. Now it will all show. If I exit off, it will update automatically and now we can play it through. It's going very fast. If you want it to go slower, then you need to actually extend it. The longer it is, the slower it will go. So if we now play it, we can see that it's going to go quite a lot slower because it's got a lot longer to play through. And again, you don't need to have a fade at the end because it physically goes completely off screen. So that's how you can create a crawling title in Premiere Pro.